Hey everyone, it's Michael and Mitchell with Magical Keys Vacation and this week's video is going to be talking about D23, what is it, how to do reservations, and our predictions out of what we hope and pray that we're going to see and reveal while we're at D23. Now don't forget to like and subscribe down below and hit that notification bell to get all of our other videos and stay tuned with all of our future trips, especially the one that we're going to be discussing now on D23. All right, here it comes. All right, everybody. So first off, what is D23 Expo? D23 Expo is this big, ginormous expo featuring all Disney, Marvel, Lucas, and anything that you can think of that's related to Disney. So it usually happens in Anaheim, California every two years. But since, as we all know, the pandemic happened and it's been pushed back a couple of years, but it's back and it's really exciting. So just to give you an idea, D clearly stands for Disney and the 23 actually stands for 1923 when Disney moved to California and made Walt Disney World Company famous and what it is today. D23 is a three-day event that happens Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and around this year it's September 9th through the 11th. Yes, September 9th through the 11th. Um, it has different panels, giveaways, and kind of like meet and greets almost where you get to see famous actors and actresses and artists come and share their talents with all of us and while we get to sit there and learn and watch and experience all the magical fun that's in and out of Disney and Marvel and Star Wars and all that. Yeah. And we got the three-day passes. Ooh. So we're going to experience the whole thing. So don't miss it. So at D23 Expo, there are five halls or stages um, where the panels are happening. Now, the main one is Hall D23. That's where the biggest events are going to happen, such as um, the Marvel, Lucasfilm presentation, the Legends, um, Disney Pixar, um, the Extravaganza musical. Mm -hmm. and, and stuff happening at the parks. And stuff happening at the parks. Yeah. So this is going to be the hall that pretty much everybody wants to get in. Yeah. And in the past, people have been able to stay overnight and sleep um, kind of in like the basement and wait in lines. This year, they completely redid the reservation system, so that is not a thing. Thank goodness, because we did not want to do that. <laughs> we did not want to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, or actually sleep overnight and all, that early in the morning. Yeah. So, now, they did a completely new reservation system. Um, so, it opened on Monday, and uh, when 15. you're watching this. Yes, and then it's going to end Friday. August 19th? Sounds right. August 19th. Um, so we have a whole week to pick out the panels that we would like to go see. Um, and they're doing it randomized this year. So each hall you get four options. Um, so you pick one through four and then um, only for hall D23, they only have two options. So you do um, number one and number two, and then you can put a guess for each one. Nice. So we have up until Friday to keep adjusting, making sure we have everything that we would want as our top four. We'll submit it, and then September 2nd, they will send out a list of everything that we get. So, right. fingers crossed, we get everything we want, or at least a couple panels, mm -hmm. and then we will share with you what we're going to go see. Now, if you don't get one of those panels, totally okay. Um, most of the panels will have the option for a standby line. Mm -hmm. It doesn't guarantee yeah. you'll get in, so people can still line up quite early for those. Um, if we have the time correct, the hall is going to open at 5 a.m. for people to start lining up, nice. even though the convention center doesn't usually open till 8. Yeah. So you will be able to line up early. You just can't stay overnight. Yeah. And people do cancel, kind of like they do at the park. So when people do cancel, like Mitchell said, you can still get in with the QR code that they have waiting for the wait line. Yeah. And the QR code is a good um, thing Michael brings up. There are going to be some shop events. Um, yes that you do need to scan into for a virtual queue line because um, they want you to be able to scan in, get your waiting line or get your waiting number and then still roam the hall. Yeah. Um, and of course, talk to people, see what else is going on. There's so many things to do um, and it is our first one. So we're super excited. We don't really know what to expect, but we're expecting a lot of crowds. Yeah. But we're expecting a lot of fun. Yeah. And if we didn't say this before, if I didn't say this before, it's at the Anaheim Convention Center, mm -hmm. so it's just not one little small little hall area. As Mitchell said, there's multiple staging areas, so it's filling up the whole Anaheim Convention Center. So it's a big, big event. Right. 
And it is sold out. It's sold out. So Even for a single day, too. Yep. So if you didn't get tickets, so sorry. But hopefully in two more years, you can go. Or just watch this video and you'll feel like you're experiencing it. But actually, um, if you are at home, they are doing some live viewing uh, for some of the panels. So you get to watch some of it from the comfort of your own home. Not all of them, but at least a couple of them. So check the website out just to see. And we can put it down below just to let you know. Yeah. All right, everybody. So now that we've given you a little bit overview of what the 23 Expo is and how it works, we're going to go into some of our predictions, what we're expecting to see, Yay. and kind of a wish list, um, even if they're long shots. Um, you've probably seen a lot of predictions already mm -hmm. or have expectations. We all know, you know, some of the rides that are already coming out, the new Disney Plus shows, some of the new movies. So we're going to maybe touch on a few of them, but more so kind of put out what we want to see or what we think will be coming out. So here we go. So Michael, mm. what are your predictions for D23 Expo? Well, my predictions are going to focus more on movies and maybe TV series. So I'm hoping that Frozen 3 happens. Okay. There has already been some talk and some whispers, especially from Kristen Bell and Josh Gad, that they are starting or hoping that there could be a Frozen 3. So I'm hoping for a Frozen 3 because I enjoyed Frozen 1, loved Frozen 2, and Frozen 3, why not? Um, second kind of prediction for a movie is I'm hoping for Cruella 2. As we all know, Emma Stone was amazing in the first movie. And why not give another movie for her for Cruella 2? I don't know what it would be focusing on. Maybe since we did introduce Perdita and her love interest, I forgot his name. Roger. 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 And that towards the end of the movie, in the first one, that maybe they'll start sliding into the 101s or still before 101 Dalmatians happen. Um, and then I guess my final one, well, hope and really praying, since I know they just had Comic-Con recently, a couple weeks ago, and Marvel announced a couple of things, I'm hoping for bigger announcements and maybe even some trailers for the future movies that are coming that we already know that are coming within Phase 4. So one of them I'm actually hoping to hear about is Shang Chi 2, because that one was amazing in the movie theaters, and I can't wait to see another one. And then maybe for TV series, a Miss Marvel 2, or even the Marvels, the new movie that's coming out, featuring possibly Miss Marvel from the TV series in Disney Disney Plus. So those are my couple predictions for movies and TV shows. What are your predictions, Mitchell? Um, well, kind of touching base off of what you said. For TV shows mm -hmm. and movies, um, I kind of expect to see something with the Fantastic Four. So Ooh. I think they do have a director, and I think they have the cast, and I think they've been hiding it. Mm. Um, so I would expect them to announce that there, since they didn't at the San Diego Comic Con. Nice. And I also kind of expect them to touch on the mutants or the revival of the X Men. I don't think that Love they. That. Legally can use some of the characters in full, I don't know, 2024, 2025, something, something like, like that. that. But I do expect them to announce something along those lines. Nice. I'm also curious if they're going to say any more about live actions. Oh. Um, so kind of how they just had Corella, they've done The Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. Like what, what else would there be? You know, Maleficent has her movies. Yep. Um, so why not if Hercules, Hercules they could do one? one of his favorites. Oh, your other favorite, Hunchback. Hunchback of Notre Dame could have one. That would be amazing. Um, there's just there's so many options. So I expect them to announce maybe another live action that we haven't heard about, um, and maybe again some of the cast scenes to some of the movies we know that are coming out that they haven't really given a lot of information on. Nice. And I'm sure at the Marvel Lucasfilm they're going to be dropping. Again, the trailers that we haven't really seen a lot about. And I also expect Yay. them to do something big with Star Wars somewhere in that realm. Yeah. Um, because we do know a couple of the TV series are coming out, but we haven't heard a whole lot about it. Yeah. So. We know Andal's coming soon. So, Mitchell, <laughs> since we just talked about movies and TV series, what about the parks? What are your predictions going to be at any of the parks? All right. So the parks is, I think something that they really need to have a big announcement on, um, especially with Universal coming out with Epic Universe in 2025. Wow. I yeah. think 
you know, we know a couple of the rides that are coming. The Tiana over the hall on um, Splash Mountain. Yeah. Um, you know, a while ago there was talks of Mary Poppins coming mm-hmm. in there. So, Which they did announce in the earlier expo in D23. Yeah. But, yeah. So we have all these little, like, bits and pieces, like, oh, there's going to be a new ride here, a new ride there. <laughs> I think there needs to be something a little bit bigger. Mm. Um, so my prediction slash wish list is, well, A, I think we're going to totally get the opening date for Tron. Yay, finally. Which I'm so excited about, especially because they have a panel for it, Ooh. celebrating the 40 years. So I also kind of want them to maybe announce a new movie. <sighs> Because the movies are so good, and it's been a long time since they kind released of one. So, we'll see about that. Nice. Do I think that they're going to create a new park? No. But what I would like to see is, and this has been talked about for years, but a whole <laughs> park section for the villains. <gasps> I feel like we only get to see the villains during Halloween yeah. or at certain meet and greets. And... That doesn't do them justice. They need an entire land to themselves. Also, can you imagine if there was a whole section just for the villains? So fun. How much that would bring people in. I would be there <laughs> opening day, staying in that section the whole time. Yeah. Um, so I definitely think that maybe not to that extreme. That's a hope. But we might get a new like land or section. I really feel like Disneyland needs something like that. Even though the Toontown is being overhauled. Mm-hmm. I feel like it needs something else. And I feel like Disney World needs something else, too. I know they're redoing Epcot, so we'll probably hear more about that, yeah. which will be great. We'll hear about some of the rides coming out. And I expect to hear maybe another ride or two going into either Disney World or Disneyland. Um, I think Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind yeah. has been a really big hit as far as roller coasters go. So... Definitely getting another coaster or two in there. Um, yeah. That's going to be my predictions for the parks. Nice. Okay. Well, for me, the first one, of course, is everyone, including ourselves, have been waiting to hear the release date for Tron when it's finally going to open because it's been years and being pushed back. So that's my number one hope that we get to find out when it's finally be able to ride. And then secondly... Since the previous expo, they announced the Frozen Land, the Peter Pan. And Rapunzel. And Rapunzel, thank you, in Shanghai, right? Correct? Mm. We'll let you know if I'm correct or not. But I think it's Shanghai for those two, like, new style lands happening and being formed. So I'm excited to see if they're going to either have new images to show us or even show possible rides that could be happening at those two, three or four new locations. So that's what I'm hoping for. My list is not as long as your list, but that's what I'm hoping for for park-wise. Yeah, I mean, I like that. Yeah. And, you know, once they're done, hopefully we'll get to take a trip over there and show you all the great things that the other parks have across the seas. Yeah! And the last thing that we're going to touch on is going to be the shopping at the D23 Expo. Mm-hmm. Um, so like we said earlier, you have to scan a QR card, scan a QR code, there we go, <laughs> um, to get into the virtual queue line. Um, and there's lots of different options. Um, they're going to have Mickey of Glendale's again, uh, the Marketplace. Mm-hmm. You're able to get some merchandise before it even hits, you know, The theme parks, the stores, some of it are limited edition. I know I'm going to try to be grabbing a couple of the pins that are limited edition. That's those pins. Um, I do love those pins. And then, of course, merchandise, just like the shirt. So this one was released when they did a small Disney Expo in Orlando about a year ago Mm -hmm. or so. And it was part of the Disney Vintage Collection. So the jersey is Disneyland in the style of a vintage map back in the day. I won't stand up and everything, but you get the idea. Yeah. So I always like to have the different kind of clothing, different hats, representing Disney any way that I can. Mm-hmm. Mitchell likes to collect pins and stuff like that. So we're excited to see the exclusive kind of items that we might get or get to see before, as Mitchell said, the parks or even on Shop on Disney. All right. So those are our predictions for D23 and give you an insight of what D23 is. Now. Comment below if you have any questions or more ideas of what D23 is or what to expect when we get there. 
Um, ask anything that you would like. We'll try to answer as much as possible. Or share your experience. Since we've never been there before, we want to know how it's, it has, how it's gone in past years. So please share your experience down below with us. And also let us know what you want to see from us for the expo. Yeah. Okay. So besides just what your predictions are, let us know what you want to see. Okay. And we'll be um, letting you know once we have um, our list out on September 2nd. So we'll show you that video. Um, we'll show you the expo. We'll do some Oogie Boogie Bash stuff coming up. So we've got lots of fun things for you. Um, and again, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, yeah, that like, sharing with all your friends, and just staying up to date with everything that we're doing. Other than that, have a magical day, and we'll catch you guys later. Bye.